Hello, family. welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Today's video is all about my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. Now, a lot of you have asked me multiple times about what do I use for my skin? Uh, what kind of moisturizer I use? Just kind of what my skincare routine is. So I don't want to disappoint. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this video. Now, before I get started, just to let you know, I do have very, very dry skin. So my skincare routine is focused on aging skin and dry skin. So if you have oily skin or combination skin, you may have to tweak if you want to use my skincare routine. You may have to tweak it based on the type of skincare needs that you personally have. Now, if that is something you're interested in hearing about, stay, not just hearing, I'm gonna show you videos. If that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Before I get started, I just want to let you know this portion of the video is sponsored by Chirp. Chirp is an audiobook retailer. Now, I love audiobooks. I have been listening to audiobooks probably for 15 years or so. I started when I had to drive 30 minutes one way back and forth to work, so I would start listening to audiobooks and it just made my drive a lot, lot easier. Then it just kind of fed over into listening to audiobooks while I'm cleaning. I listen to audiobooks in the morning when I'm doing my skincare routine. I listen to audiobooks at night when I'm doing my skincare routine. And my favorite place, honestly, to listen to my audiobook is my on my drive to and from work. My drive to work is probably 20 minutes, but with traffic in the afternoon, um, it's around 30 minutes. But I love audiobooks. I can listen to them for hours and hours. I can go through an audiobook within a couple of days. It just makes the mundane task just that much more enjoyable. You kind of forget where you're at. They can transport you to another place, another time, another experience. Kind of like music, but you know, I'm just a visual person. So when I'm listening to an audiobook, like I love the ones that talk about dragons and all that sort of stuff. I can just visually see the mountains and see the dragons flying in the air. So I, I really, really love audiobooks. Now, this particular audiobook retailer is Chirp, and what's really great about them, unlike other audiobook companies, there's no subscription fee or monthly commitment. They also have great, I mean great, limited time audiobook deals with up to 95% off the books. Like you go to the homepage and you hit that deal and you just scroll down. I, I think that's a great, great asset for this particular company. I'm currently listed to A Woman in the Window. I think it's gonna be playing on Netflix. I saw it on my favorite book connoisseur, um, Montoya's Instagram page, A Novel Idea. And she was talking about it or she had it on there. I was like, oh, if she likes them, then go ahead and get it. So I'm currently listening to that. I also downloaded Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. And I, I mean, I got that book for $2.99 under the book deal. So you cannot beat it. Now, if you'd like to try out this retailer, I have a promo code and it's Angela Michelle 50 for 50% 50 off your first book. And that is a great, great deal. So again, that link will be in the description box below if you'd like to try it. Go ahead and sign up. Signing up is free. Find you a book, hit that promo code and get 50% off your first book. Now, let's get into my skincare routine. So for my skincare routine, I typically keep my skin, my day skincare regimen and my night skincare regimen in two separate little boxes. It's just easier for me to grab. I got these from Amazon. They are amazing. I have a lot of these in my makeup little drawer thing, but the box comes with multiple sizes and I just kind of have them separated. It's just easier for me to grab the whole container and that way I know what I'm going to use. And I try to keep everything that I need in each container, i.e. I have two separate moisturizers. I like them both, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to start with my nighttime skincare routine because 
uh it's not night yet but i have on makeup and so this is my everyday or my every night skincare routine and whether i have on makeup or not i always double cleanse because i put sunscreen on and i need that full cleanser to break down that sunscreen and any other uh, dirt or kind of grimy stuff that's gotten on my face throughout the day but primarily i wanted to break down the sunscreen on my face so you've probably already seen this my uh cl clinique take the day off uh, cleansing balm. You don't have to use this one. There are so many different cleansing balms out on the market, but I like this one. I like, uh, I've used multiple ones, but I just had a sample, so I fell in love with this one. If you're using sunscreen, you do need to do a two-step cleansing routine. That's just my opinion and dermatologist's opinion as well, but this is what I use. See, I've been using it a whole lot. You put it in and you just rub it in until it melts like this. And I just rub it on my face. And I rub a lot around my eyes to get the mascara off of my eyelashes. It just kind of breaks everything down. I normally do this for at least a minute or two. Most of the time it's around two minutes, but I don't want to keep you that long. I finish that after I rub it all and if I have lipstick on, I rub it on my lips too because it helps to break even the most stubborn lip stains down. Y'all see production back there behind the camera telling me to arch my back. I over look humped over. Thank you, honey. You're welcome, honey. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse and I'll be right back. So normally I do my cleansing routines in the shower. I'll put my balm on, rub it in real, real good, get in the shower, rinse that off, and then I'll do my second cleanse in the shower. But I'm going to show you what I'm using here. And this is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I really, really like this. This has ceramides in it, which help build up the skin barrier. It doesn't strip all your natural oils out. Even though it cleanses your skin, it doesn't strip all those out. It has three essential ceramides in it. And it also has hyaluronic acid, which is very nourishing and moisturizing, unlike some soaps. So that's why I like this because again, I have very, very dry skin. So even after, once I'm in the shower, I rinse off the cleansing balm and it really cleanses everything off. And then I'll go back with the second cleanser to get anything that might have been left. And you can see how this looks. It looks really, it's nice and thin and just even looks nourishing and moisturizing. I try to make sure I get around my eyes and my eyebrows really well because I put makeup on my eyes. I put mascara on my eyes and I do my eyebrows as well. So I want to make sure I get all of that out really, really well. And get all the product off my face. That way when I put my serums and my moisturizer on, they're able to penetrate my skin. Now I'm going to go wash this off. I'll be right back. FYI, I forgot to tell you, if you know someone that has eczema, this is great for eczema. Um, people with eczema, it's certified by the eczema foundation, so it's great for people with eczema. Or if you just have normal skin, it's non-comedogenic, which means it does not clog your pores. So this is really a great product and it's not really expensive. So the next thing I do is I use toner for my skin. I have this toner and this is from... which. I know it's from the ordinary the ordinary falls on the uh on the parent company and it has three different brands it has the ordinary it has decium and it has neod and the ordinary is the basic brand and decium is mid-range and the neod is much more expensive but uh has a lot of products that have a lot of research back behind them and really really great ingredients 
but this is the toner I like I really like this um it has it's hyaluronide it has hyaluronic acid in it and it has peptides in it so it's great again for the skin barrier because my skin is dry sometimes it gets very very sensitive but this helps the, uh, my skin to absorb moisture and to kind of hold it in so I really like this most of the time I'll use a liquid serum and I know they tell you to put it on a cotton pad and rub it on your face. I don't like rubbing a lot of stuff vigorously on my skin because, you know, she's starting to age. We don't want to be pulling that stuff. And the cotton pad soaks up some of the product. So I really like the spray mist. Even when I have a serum, I squirt it in my hand, I rub it, and I pat it on. But I really, really like this. So this is what I'm using. And it's called the Halamide Sub-Q Mist. I do use a generous amount, okay? And everything that I use for my face, I put on my chest, except for, except for exfoliants and like acids and stuff. I don't put that on my chest because you don't have as many oil cells in your chest. So the skin on your chest is a lot drier. You don't want to put those. But moisturizers and other types of uh, hydrating serums, I do put on my chest as well because all of this is going to age at the same time. So I kind of give that a moment to so in now normally people would use uh their moisturizer last but i watch a lot of dermatologists on youtube and one of my favorites is dr dre and she uses her moisturizer before she uses her retinol and i'm going to do the same and that's what i do every night anyway but i use these two moisturizers are what I've been using lately. You all have heard me talk about the CeraVe moisturizer. It has the ceramides in it as well, and it's great for eczema as well. And I've also been using the Eucerin Urea Repair Moisturizer, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, but so now I'm gonna put my moisturizer on. And I, I have dry skin. I really like a heavier moisturizer, but this is great. It's not too heavy and it's not greasy. So I'll put this on first. And it dries pretty fast. So I like that soak in just for a few minutes. And then I use some sort of retinol product. Right now I'm using this Epiduo and it's Adapalene, which is basically retinol. I've used retinol by the ordinary. I just kind of use different brands. I think I ran out and I saw this in the drugstore. So this is what I've been using. Now, if you're not accustomed to using a retinol because at first it can burn some, I recommend you using just a small amount or starting off with something very, very light. You'll have to do research to see what kind you will get. Um, I know the Ordinary has several different strengths of retinol, but I've been using this. This is kind of, this is pretty strong, but the good thing about putting your moisturizer on first, it kind of protects the skin, gives it a little bit of barrier. So this doesn't uh, hit the skin as fast or as harsh after you put the moisturizer on it. But that's what I put on last. Now just use like a pea size, it does not take much. And kind of pet it in. Now I do not put this on my chest. And then I will use some sort of chapstick. Most time I use a Vaseline on my lips and that's it. That's my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so this is my daytime skincare routine. A lot of people don't wash their face in the morning. I do wash my face in the morning again with the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. And the reason for that is I sleep on my... <laughs> I sleep all over the bed. The reason... <laughs> you the yeah. reason for that is I sleep on my stomach so my face is all over the pillow all night long and I want to make sure I get everything off that I put on my skin at night um, and I want to get the dirt off from rolling all over the bed at night so that everything that I use on my face in the morning can penetrate my skin and just kind of work and give me the best benefits possible 
So I have, I'm starting with a clean face. So the first thing I do is I'll wash my face and then I'll start with my eye serum. And this is the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate and it's by Neod. Neod is again the higher tier product line under the Ordinary brand. And this is supposed to help with dark circles and help nourish the under eye. And I just, you know, I just figure it can't hurt. I don't know if I've seen any any great results from it. I've only been using it uh, for a short period of time, but it can't hurt is what I said to myself. So I take this, I just put a little bit on my hand like this. Then I take this finger and I just gently massage it under my eyes. Just very gently. And rub that in because that's what I start off with first. And then I use the ordinary buffet with copper peptides. Um, this is an anti-aging and skin repairing serum. It's an antioxidant. Now they do have the regular buffet without the copper peptides. Copper peptides are amino acids that kind of help with the skin barrier as well. And I saw a lot of reviews on this. Some people have not so good or have adverse reactions to the combination of the two. So if you try this and you have adverse reactions, just don't use it anymore. They do have just a regular buffet that I hear I've used before and that will work really, really well if you don't like this particular one. But this one is fine with me. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But if you haven't tried it before, I would start with the regular buffet. And the regular buffet comes in a clear bottle, kind of like, like this. See, this is the one with the copper peptides. This is an ordinary bottle that's clear. And I'm, because I can't, I can't see really well, I, just let, I wrote that really big so I can tell what this is. <laughs> but this, this is what the regular buffet bottle looks like. So I use this neck. So this is what it looks like. It's blue from the copper peptides. Like this, I rub it in. Rub it in next. And then I use a vitamin C as well and this is also from the odd and it's the ethylenated ascorbic acid 30 percent um from the odd now the ordinary has a regular vitamin c but this is a higher end vitamin c don't ask me what the difference i just know this is more concentrated and a better version of the vitamin c anytime you buy vitamin c 99 percent of the time it's going to come in a dark bottle because if it's exposed to too much sunlight it just will mess up the concentration it did and it won't work well so make sure your vitamin c comes in a dark bottle but i purchased this from neot again because i watch a lot of videos about the ordinary products and they're all over youtube so if you want to know what the difference between this one is and a regular ordinary vitamin c i recommend you go on youtube and just kind of google uh ordinary vitamin c versus neod vitamin c and they'll tell you what the benefits of each are but this is the one i have and it's a clear liquid and i just squirt it in my hand like this and it feels greasy but it's not once you put it on and put the rest of your stuff on it feels just fine And then I use my moisturizer. And right now I'm using the Eucerin Repair with urea in it. Again, if I don't have this, I'll use the CeraVe or vice versa, but it's just easier for me to have something for each container. That way I'm not digging around trying to figure out what I'm using for the day or the night. And I'll just use a little bit of moisturizer.
And lastly, I will use my sunscreen. Now again, I've been using this Black Girl sunscreen probably for two, maybe a little bit over two years now, but I really, really like it. And it's clear on me, it comes out white, like this. And I rub it in, you see how it kind of starts getting clear on me. And that is my daytime skincare routine. Now, if I were going to put makeup on, I would start with my makeup routine. If I'm not going to wear makeup, which I don't wear a lot of makeup during the week, I always put a little bit of concealer under my, I put color corrector and maybe a little bit of concealer under my eye and maybe just a little bit of powders around my eye. I don't use a lot of foundation on my face, but if I were, it, it, this would be just fine. I would just start putting my makeup on and just whatever that makeup routine is going to be. I've had no issues with my makeup setting with all of these products on my face, but I always use the sunscreen. Now, if you're not going to use makeup and then you end with your sunscreen, if you're going to be outside for any extended period of time, I think you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen like every two hours. I don't spend a lot of time outside, so I rarely reapply my sunscreen, even if I'm at the beach. I'll put it on, I'll put a lot on. I'll get it on there good, but yeah, I, I don't reapply. Let's just be honest. I do not <laughs> reapply my sunscreen, even if I'm at the beach. But I'm not laying out sunbathing either. I'm under, uh, under an umbrella or playing or follow, fo what is the word, follow flocking? What is it? <laughs> Frolicking. Ooh, I jacked it up. Didn't I? <laughs> Even when I'm at the beach, I'm either under the umbrella, or I'm out playing in the water, just playing, but I'm never just out sunbathing anyway. So, um, yeah, I honestly don't reapply my sunscreen. I get that first layer on, and that's enough for me. But this is my daily skincare routine. Now, if I have a breakout, which rarely happens, I may have a bump here or there, or if I have dry patches, then I'll use something else. I try to use a chemical exfoliant like once every two weeks and I also use that's from The Ordinary and it's the AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Skin Solution and you'll know it when you see it because it's like burgundy red. It's really red. So I'll use this maybe once every two weeks to help foliate, exfoliate the dead skin cells off my face. I don't really like the uh, physical exfoliation. I just, I just don't like it. So this works really, really well. But if you're going to use it, you really, really need to read the instructions and follow them very, very carefully. But that's it family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember now, I'm not committed to any one particular brand. I do, I do love the ordinary and I do love CeraVe. I'm constantly changing brands just kind of find what's a good fit because you know they're always coming out with new innovative type products so I'm willing to try it all whatever's going to work best for me at the moment. Again this is my skincare routine and my skin is very not just dry it's very very dry. If you have not subscribed if you've been watching you haven't subscribed Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Again, it tells YouTube that you're enjoying my content, not just this video. And if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, leave me a comment in the description box and tell me why. Most of the time, I will reply. I try to reply to all the comments if I can. Again, thank you for spending some of your valuable time with me. I want you to have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.